Hey, honey. Yeah, yes, I'm in Dallas. Yeah, for a bit, you know. Yes, it's running a little late. I actually don't know. You know, Daddy, he gets he gets a little lost sometimes. But uh, no, I just I was just wanted to know how you doing. Yeah, it's good. No, we love it. I just gotta find the the direction for this meeting, and I think I'm. Oh crap! I love you. This episode of Quality Time is brought to you by Baby Bjorn. No matter how far you roam away from home, you can rest assured that the little one is snuggled safely and comfortably right here in this, the babysitter balance. So we're talking about phoning home. This is something that all dads have to do sooner or later, whether you're a working dad or, or even if you're a stay-at-home dad, sometimes you're away from the family. Necessary evil, we try to keep it to a minimum. But then you face the problem of phoning home. Now, I'm not particularly good at this. This is a real area of weakness for me. So I'm hoping that you'll help me out by answering a few questions, okay? First question, why the hell do we do it? Obviously, we call home because we want to make sure that the kids know that even though we're away, that we're still thinking about them and, and we love them because travel disrupts the, the normal situation of, of your family when everyone's present. So you need to reassure them that everything's okay. So I sort of know about that one, but I got another question for you. Do you have a regular time, an established moment when you call? I know that I call typically around six o'clock, right when the kids are having their first cocktails, because I know they'll all be gathered around and, and everyone will be sitting around chatting and talking about their day, and that's a point at which I want to join in the conversation. That works for my family. Does it work for yours? I know that some dads will call and try and do a sort of virtual tuck-in, uh, maybe even read a story to the child right as they're going to bed. This is a risky one for me because I feel like if you miss your window, next thing you know, the kid's asleep, you've not adjusted properly for the time zones, and you've got some really disappointed kids at home. But maybe the tuck-in works for you. Let me know, is there a specific time that's best to call home? My next question, how do you avoid the dreaded dead air when you're talking to your kid on the phone? It seems like it happens to me I, I get the phone passed over to the child by my wife, and the next thing I know, I'm talking to a mime. I sense that there's someone on the other end of the phone nodding at the phone as I talk. And I wonder, how do you draw your child out into a real meaningful conversation? Because the objective here is, is to talk, to have some exchange for them to know that you're, you're caring about what they're doing and you wanna know what's up in their lives that day, even though you're not there. Well, it's a tough thing to do, but again, I think the key is probably knowing the schedule heard me talk about this before. If you know the schedule, you know what's going on in their lives, and you can ask specific questions. I also think it's okay to ask a really silly question, something that you know that they'll respond to. If they've got a favorite game, or they've got a favorite animal, so ask a silly question about what their teddy bear is doing today. My final question, can technology enhance your phone call home? I'm wanting to know, do different brands of phones, whether they've got a, a camera, or other features that actually improve the conversation that's going on with your kids? Do you ever use still photography or send pictures of where you are as a way of enticing them to communicate with you. Do you use video conferencing when calling home with your kids? I've found personally that my kids get very distracted by their own image and they're just making faces and I don't really get to have a conversation or I'm making faces, but I'm curious, does it work? Does it work for you? And finally, my oldest son, who's 10, is totally transported by texting. He thinks it's the coolest thing in the world. So I find with him, if I send two or three texts to his mother's phone addressed to him, he finds that really thrilling. And my guess is that that conversation with him is more meaningful than me asking him questions about how his day went on the phone. So for him, I text. So if you've got answers to any of my questions about whether there's a, a set time, a way to draw out conversation or technology that helps when you phone home, please go to dadlabs.com and answer these questions. I need your help to have better conversations with my kids when I'm out of town. Besides that, there's lots of other great conversations going on at dadlabs.com. You want to be part of that community. Thanks to our sponsors, Baby Bjorn. It's very reassuring to know that you've got the very best gear back at home when you're on the road. Thanks very much, Baby Bjorn, and we'll see you next time on Quality Time.